I welcome you to this evening's lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai. Manene na manene gazisi an bingele la gulopsuba na musa gulo nkulumoye chinoma isfundo siga wonke siga master uching hai. The lecture is entitled The Golden Age Begins with Ourselves Through Direct Contact with God. Master Ching Ai is a spiritual leader whose teachings are very simple and practical. Supreme Master, Ongum Holy, Kwezen Kolo Kakulu, and his song is of Lalila Okshoyanamanji. Her message is one of unconditional love and compassion for all sentient beings. She teaches the Kuan Yin method, which is the ancient science of enlightenment and the divine art of self-realization. This method involves meditation on the inner celestial light and sound. Ladies and gentlemen, you may ask, what impact has this philosophy has on us in South Africa? What is the answer? I believe the greater part of the answer is in enlightenment. May the wisdom and teachings of the Supreme Master Ching Hai illuminate our thoughts. Gentlemen, please welcome the Supreme Master Ching Hai. Master Chingai, thank you for coming to Durban to grace us with your presence. The Surya Langa Dance Company will now escort you down to your chair before they perform a dance for you. have the Surya Langa Dance Company from the University of Durban, Westfall, who will now perform an Afro-Indian dance. On behalf of the Surya Langa Dance Company from the University of Durban, Westfall, we cannot say how honored we feel to be able to present such a dance as a gift of art to the Supreme Master, Ching Hai. 
The theme of the dance is great confusion and the only thing that stills the confusion is one dancer seeing the self in the other. Supreme Master, we present to you a gift of art in an African dream. Master, Thank you very much, Surya Dance Company. We now will have our Supreme Master, Ching Hai, to address us. <laughs> Thank you so much for this extraordinary dance. I'm so impressed. <laughs> Is that African? African dance? Looks looks like heaven's dance. <laughs> So beautiful, so beautiful. Did you enjoy? Nena <laughs> Tokozela. I'm also trying hard to be African. <laughs> they bought the, the clothes, the three sizes bigger than me. But <laughs> go size um cool. I'm sorry I don't make a good uh, representation of uh, African, but this is as good as I can do. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much you can see the The African sister and brother are generous. I think they wish me to get a little bit more developed. <laughs> Maybe we can get more. When we look at the Am I supposed to start now? It's okay, right? okay, okay. <laughs> no more dance, right? No more no more dance. Dance. Oh, wow. It could go on forever. It's beautiful. <laughs> when, yes. When we look at the old tradition, the the rituals and the customs of all the countries. We can, we can almost guess where we came from. And all the dance, all the music, the songs. We must come from heaven. Because in the golden age, Everyone wears similar to those costumes. And walk the way of the cloud, you know. <laughs> Before we walk as if we dance, we talk as if we sing. 
Ekpaleni ke sasi hamba sengathi siyadansa sikhuluma sengathi siyacula We look at each at each other as if we are falling in love Sasibukana sengathi ke sinothanda noma siyathandana And that's the way of heaven so uh, if we look at the old custom and the old tradition old habits we must know that we came from heaven. There's Iyon, nowhere else we can come from. Iyona ke indlela ke yasezulwini ke leyo ke indlela esibukana ngayo nendlela ke esidansa ngayo ifana neyabantu basezulwini. They say that I know everything, but I don't think I know how to fix this. Bathi ngazi konke kodwa kangikwazi ukukulungisa lokho. Okay. <laughs> Yes, when we, uh, when we are able to reconnect ourselves or remember ourselves as member of the celestial royalty, then oh. we will know that we really have a very, very glorious, um, glorious uh, origin. But now, because uh, many of us have forgotten how to reconnect ourselves, how to remember our origin, therefore we, we kind of lost in this planet and we think this is our, ourselves, the body is us, and whatever we think, whatever we do, that's us. And therefore, because for the people who are fortunate, they can also live in both worlds at the same time, just like the ancient masters, they can exist in the in this physical planet as well as in the higher dimension of the kingdom of God. Actually all of us all of us can do this. Not only the ancient masters, all of us can do this. Many of the Indian masters still can do this. Many of the yogis can do this. And many of us in the Western world and Asian world, Oriental world can do this. <laughs> In the ancient times, uh, because uh, of the secrecy and the inconvenience of transportation as well as uh, communication, this kind of practice has been kept more or less a mystery, uh, a, yes, a mystery. But nowadays, because we have access to all kind of uh, open public uh, all kind of public um, communication as well as uh, very fast transportation. So today, in this age, there are countless of beings, countless of people who have access, access to this way of life, to the way of, of a normal life, of the life we should live, a life of celestial being as well as human being. Because 
no bukepeshego obuni. Aban to gesebaya guazigo, gutige impilo yabo, ye suge noma, e handing en lela, e fanele, e sheshayo. And when we are able to visit heaven at will, we will lose all the attachment for this world. At that time, we do not need to keep the commandments. The commandments become our life. We do not uh, need to read the Bible. The Bible become our way of living. And we will see that no matter how beautiful the dress, how beautiful the furniture, how beautiful the possession we have in this world is nothing compared to the real the real property, the real life that we have in the celestial dimension, no the real home. Sorry. So that's why many of the masters or the spiritual practitioners of the old time, as well as now, once they have the taste of heaven or contact with heaven uh, on a daily basis, they have no more desire for whatever the, the most appealing things in this world, and we call them the renunciate. But they are renunciate by nature. They are not forced themselves to do that, or they do not do that just because the Bible says so or because the scripture says so. Yinga koge na mushage noma emandulo o master ubati bangezwa la ugutige ba tole inga nuwe ase zuluini noma ge ugutige ba zwega ngane uwa se zuluini. Awa viva safuna uwa la emshabini ngoba ge besu beseba chategile iloku uwa se zuluini. When Jesus was, when Jesus was uh, among us, he didn't even have shoes. He did not care, not because he couldn't afford shoes. He has disciples, and of course disciples would have done everything at all to make the master's life more comfortable. But he did not care for that. Of course if he has, he could care, but he did not want to care. <laughs> Because he knows that he only visit here for a short while, bless our planet, and then he will return to the glory of heaven. To many of us, uh, we do not lead the life of uh, the renunciation physically or materially, but inside our heart, the things of the world has no longer any attractiveness after we have known the way to heaven. Nevertheless, we could live in both worlds at the same time. And that is the beauty of having the physical life also, that we can compare to heavenly life and we can appreciate it more. And that's why we are born in this physical planet. And we 
we descend into darkness so that we will recognize the light again. We will appreciate the light again. We descend into suffering so that we will again enjoy blessedness in heaven. Sehlela ebumnyameni ukuze ukuthi ke sikwazi ukuthi ke sithokozele ukukhanya ezulwini. Simphindeke futhi ke singene la ebubini sikwazi ke ukuthi ke siphumelele futhi siphume eyinkingeni. That's why no matter how many mistakes we make, how much we err, we are still the sons and daughters of heaven. We came here just to make a comparison. We come here so that we can be God again, can enjoy heaven again. Sizela imhlabeni noma ngabe ke sona kangakanani siyazi ukuthi ke ikusasa lethu lisezulwini. The reason why many of us have forgotten it because once we descend into this illusionary planet there are so many things to see so many things to do and the pleasure of the physical existence is almost very very attractive as compared to the ecstasy of heaven and because we have left behind the beauty of the kingdom of God we have left behind the security of our original home so here we made ourselves at home ngicabanga ke ukuthi ke iningi lethu ke liyakhohla ngalempilo le ngoba sithi ke uma sesicabanga ke ngalempilo noma sesiphila lempilo yala emhlabeni enobukhazikhazi sibe seke sesiyakhohla ngalempilo engale ezulwini noma ngabe seke siyikhumbula suke sibe sesiphila kule ngathi sesiyaphupha ke manje ke impilo and then we have been too busy attracted to all of these wonders <laughs> also the creation of god in this physical dimension that we do not remember how to access to heaven again until we are tired until we really could not bear any more the suffering the injustice the unfairness of this world then we begin to wonder again siya thatheka ke lo bukhazi khazi noma ubuhle bemvelo engicabanga ukuthi okunyeke kwenziwe ngumuntu lo ubuntu umuntu lo bubuhle esibonayo sikhohlweke ngokwasezulwini kodwa ke ukuthi uma sesingene eyinkingeni singasakwazi ukuphuma uma sesibona inhlupheko esizungezile bese kuba yima sicabanga ke ngokwaphezulu okwasezulwini that's when we start to want to go back home or have access to heaven and that's when uh, god almighty would guide us to someone who knows the key who knows the way back home ile sosikhathike bese sicabanga ngaso ukuthi ke sibuyele ezulwini futhi ke unkulunkulu ke wethu abese esithumelela umuntu ozokwazi ukuthi asihole asibuyisele kuyena ezulwini the indian tradition has a saying that when the disciples already the master appear where is the master who who is this iyu abasendiya ke banenkolelo ethike uma ngabe ke kukhona ke lezo inkinga umaster lo ubeseke uyakhamuka ubani lo master uphi futhi lo master the master is inside us the master is god Umaster lo ungaphakathi kithini umaster lo ngunkulunkulu the master is the vastness of the universal power and limitless love but when when we are in this physical body that power has to has to uh, be housed in another physical body or another physical instrument so that we can make contact in the beginning lokho ke kwenzeka ke kulo lithando olungakhulunywa noma oluthule namandla lawa angena kuphela awangunaphakathi ukuyibona asebenza ngaphakathi kithina 
because we also have this universal power within us already. So once we remember it through another uh, physical office, physical instrument, we will again become the master of our destiny. We will be one again, we will be one again with God, we will be the being that we originally are before we descend into this physical planet. To access to heaven is very easy. More easy than earning money, more easy than driving car, <laughs> more easy than uh, anything that we could imagine. Because the Bible stated that the kingdom of God is at hand. It is so. I'm going to show you how to get back to heaven every day if you're willing to. There are three ways we can uh, we can do this. The first way is if you're not ready for serious uh, research about of yourselves, then you could just uh, try a few minutes. If you want to know a little more of yourself, of heaven, then you try a little more, harder, <laughs> well, the second grade. If you're really serious, really want to go home and have no more, no more desire to, to stay in this world again after this life, then we have the so-called initiation. We would give you instruction about an hour or half an hour so that you know what to do yourself every day. And then you become your own teacher. Kunezindelage <laughs> Whether, whether you are serious or not, we all still have a taste of heaven. Today, after, after this lecture finish, <laughs> because heaven belongs to every of us, we must, we should know it. That's the only way that we can end all the suffering, finish all the ignorance, and know our own greatness and enjoy the bliss of heaven here and now and after and Yon, forever. The Yona Gendelagil is Naguaz Gutisiketo, Klupega, in Klupego, Noma Nabegini, Ogunia Ogunas Petegate, Besegesi Pilage, Impilo Emnand, Elandelayo, Yasezulu. The people who make war, the people who have hatred, the people who inflict suffering upon others because 
they don't know God because they're too far from heaven, because they have forgotten completely their origin. And we ourselves sometimes find ourselves also being very agitated about the surrounding, about the atmosphere of this world, about everything that we have to handle in daily basic, because we also far from heaven, even though heaven is right here. It's right with us. And most of the times, if we do not know God, if we do not have reconnection with the universal power, we work only with our mind, with the brain, which is just like a computer. And sometimes it works well, sometimes it's not functioning. That's why we suffer, that's why we have uh, more failure than success, that's why we have more anger than love. So we must change this way of living, then our life will be heaven. If we use the great universal power, then of course we are stronger and wiser. But if we use just the limited power of the computer brain, then of course the difference is too great. Once we recognize our, our place in heaven, once we recognize that we are one with the universal power, one with God, then our ego is no longer there. We become one with everything. We, we, we become one with the greatest intelligence, greatest love and power of the whole universe. And that's why we can do everything and we are liberated. That is the Father that uh, our Lord Jesus has mentioned and talked to us about. I do, but not I is my Father. Oh, mm. you can say Mother, that, that's it. That's why we have to be not every spiritual master or spiritual practitioner has to suffer the way Lord Jesus did. He did that just once. Yes, sorry. Because at that time, our worldly people were still too ignorant and the law of this world was still as a jungle law. So it was very difficult for the Lord to spread the truth and to tell the people to wake up. 
yayinya hambi kahle manje ke ingakho ke kwafanele ukuthi ke kuze kuthunyelwe yena ozo ozosiza ukuthi ke impilo ihambe ngokomthetho sike ukuphila le impilo yasemahlathini but also because he was the master he is responsible for the the karma of all the disciples so he had to suffer but for most of the ordinary practitioners we don't suffer like that we enjoy every day sorry man ngoba ke uyena baba wethu noma umaster omkhulu ingakho ahlupheka ukundlula sonke kodwa ke thina ke noma abanye omaster akusolekile ukuthi ke baze bahlupheke nje ngaye we enjoy the blessing of the father we enjoy the blessing of the companies of all the ancient masters which still exist in the universe we enjoy the happiness from samadhi we enjoy the prosperity of even of our material existence a better healthy condition of our body we enjoy a better family harmony or in all everything in general for our practitioners are bliss ingakho ke thina ke o master abe manje sithanda ukuthi ke sithokozele konke lokho okukhona oma siqhathanisa nalo kuyako ka Jesu sithanda ukuthi ke sithokozele ukuba khona bethanda zethu noma abomndeni sithokozele ukuba khona ko master laba bakudala sithokozela impilo yethu ethokozile noma eyinjabulo sithokozela impilo noma imizimba yethu ephilile sifunde futhi siphinde futhi sithokozele ukuba nemndeni yethu because god is merciful and we are one with god at all time at all time at all time ngokuthi ke leyo mpilo leyo ke inomusa noma inokuthula ingakho ke njalo sihlala simunye nonkulunkulu wethu ngaso sonke isikhathi ngaso sonke isikhathi there were only two way to live our life one way is live the life of the worldly existence and believing in only that existence another life is connected remember not connected actually remember ourselves that we are one with god and look and see that we are one with god and from that moment on our lives change completely it should be the way it must be kunezindlela ke ezimbili ke zokwenza lokhu eyokuqala ukuthi ke siphile impilo yethu njengoba injalo yonke eyesibili indlela eyokuthi ke sikhumbule ukuthi ke sikhumene nonkulunkulu sihlangene siphila kanye naye simunye nonkulunkulu wethu everything that i enjoy now or ever is bestowed upon me because i seek god first seek you first the kingdom of god and everything else shall be given unto you this is the only truth and we must believe in it konke ke enginakho ke ngikithola kuNkulunkulu futhi ke konke loke nakungaphakathi kimina angikufune ngaphandle yiyona ndlela okufanele ukuthi izinto zihambe ngayo sikasazi ukuthi ke konke loku kungaphakathi kuthina yiyona ndlela okufanele ukuthi be yona ke leyo but even then after we reconnect or remember ourselves as a member of uh, kingdoms of god even god has bestowed almost anything we want upon us but we our heart we not no longer <laughs> no longer belong to these material possessions we may use them for the benefit of comfort in this world or the benefit of others who need it but our heart no longer belong to them our heart will be always in the presence of god our heart is an altar that we worship the lord every seconds of our the rest of our uh, physical existence and after izeke kunjalo ke kufanele ke sazi ukuthi ke ukuphila kwethu ke akusaxhumene nako konke lobuchazikhazi noma esibonayo ukusizungezile thina fanele sazi ukuthi ke impilo yethu yonke ingaphakathi noma siyethula kuNkulunkulu okunguyena usiza ngakho konke ngengaphakathi lethu kufanele ukuthi ke sikhohlwe 
True worship began after we see the Lord. We have only one God. Yes. So if I just say the Lord or God, please understand that I include all the names that we have lovingly called this greatest being. If we do not see God face to face, if we do not truly know God, then of course we also believe in God. We heard people say that God exists, and if we pray to Him, He answers. So we know that. We have some comfort in our soul that God helps protect us and God is there. But this only emotionally, only mentally, not spiritually, not truly the taste of the real presence of God, not a direct connection, direct knowledge, direct contact, with God. Gonke ke logu siya gwazige ugutige si yezwa ugutige uma ngabe standards uma ngabe senzani si kuma nanko nongkulu nkulu. Goto wage inle logu enzega ngayo siya zugutige agwa na ugutige kwenzega ngempele. Logu yinto e enzega ngogo moya noma ngogo mpifu mulo gunga paga atiktin. Agwa na ugutige siya mbona noma siya mazi siya mtinta noma senzinjan. Goto wage njige it's just like knowing you have a husband or a lover but have never seen him. In the old time, uh, old traditions, before the marriage, the couple are not allowed to see each other. Nevertheless, they know that they're going to marry to a person. Whoever that might look like, they don't know. <laughs> but when they're married, actually, the night of the wedding, and from 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 then on, there's a different story altogether. Similarly, knowing God is different than believing in God alone. Seeing God is truly believing. Knowing God is truly worshiping. We know what we worship. We know what we see. Uh, all right, I guess I make it short <laughs> because uh, no matter how long I speak, it's not God. Just... <laughs> So um, it would be better that I offer you the, the real experiences in case you really want that. <laughs> Do you? Okay, we, uh, if you have any more questions, please uh, write it down. I answer to you. And for those who are already clear, uh, you can go out and register your name, and later we call you for initiation. And for those people who cannot be fully vegetarian, uh, they could have convenient method. And for those who could not even be sure of these two, uh, non-vegetarian at all, uh, then never mind. 
uh, just stay here, and after this section, I will also show you a taste of heaven. And you could enjoy that every day also if you practice again and again. And Thank you. Is that Zulu language? Yeah, yes. Very sweet. <laughs> Very sweet. You, you have been really very, very attentive. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you have any question, please bring it here. I answer quickly, and then we move to the the next. Please read the first one. Yes. The first question is, yes. Yes. what is transmission? How does it work? And how is it beneficial in one's spiritual practice? In the wordy language, it's short of anything that I can explain this. So we have to just call it transmission. As if, uh, as if uh, an electric uh, line transmit to another one, as if a candle transmit the light to another candle. The God within you will be awakened through another awakened God within someone else. That's called the transmission. Just for the sake of <laughs> explanation. Otherwise, there's nothing physically that happens during the so-called initiation. Your God will be awakened just by silence. There is something, but invisibly. God himself work through the God within you, reconnect himself to himself, all right? So there's nothing really transmitted. Just in the worldly language, we're short of all kind of spiritual terms. So, question is, Master, I would like to know that if I have been initiated before, will it interfere with the meditation on any breathing technique that I am already practicing? Should I be initiated again? If you have uh, studied similar method of other school from other master, then you just stay there. You have no need to be initiated again. But if uh, you have not uh, meditated on the heavenly light and the heavenly melodies, then you could uh, try our way, but just one way at a time, no mixing, okay? First, we don't have time. Second, riding on two bicycles is a little dangerous. <laughs> And then man is saying, "Well, this is for the government. We are not going to put things in the nina. No, we are going to put it in love. 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 And if you do, can you pass this link into your disciples? Yeah, I do. La pa kubu zote ne ingabe uyabonte ne unako umana kasi nukulu na umangabe unako 
ngabe uyabotu kumeni na umabu unge nako ngabe ungatela abala ndeli bako la ugute nenga pere kukone nukumana na this has been proven by by hundreds of thousands already yebo kukone loko endi kuye njega endi kuya buna gana ngezi telo kubantu bonge mklebe nchigelele so i don't just believe it i know it Master, there are three questions here. What do you meditate about? How do you find peace in pain, injustice, and persecution? How and where do you get initiated? I think the, the first question and the second question has been answered already. So the middle question is this. Peace has always been our nature. And because we have forgot that, we feel that we have no peace. No matter how much possession we have, no matter in which situation we are. So we have to remember this inborn peace again. And that's all there is. That's why Jesus in the face of death and suffering, he does not feel troubled. He does not run away. He said, Father, how much you glorify me, how you glorify me. You see, that is the peace that we should remember. Uh, Mala noktula noma uksinda noma uksila ngokom ngokom ondo loko ge even dia faga zele na sema zwini lapo uche su Christu etene ekuluma kash epe ise kuban etene gebo uktula magu indo e indalo and nukupe gafuti uindo eko na mzimbe ni mundo ngako ge mina gya chablela loko. When we remember this peace, we will know that everything that happens, happens under His will. We will see clearly why these things happen and for what benefit. It's not the way it looks. The victims are not always the victims. They are sometimes circumstances that people are, we, the greatest being within us created for ourselves, for our own progr progress. There is truly no victims. If we ascend to heaven, see the working order of the universe, we will never again complain about God. Never again, one moment of our life, being ungrateful to any situation at all. Kuko gonga uklung meze, numa goba klung meze gile. Ukunukulu ya si kumbuza, numa uya sa zisa ekten. Kuko gonga uwenza gala, gonga uwenza nga pantu gonga kulungulu. And gonga unendalo yako, gonga uya zenze gana nga koge. Tina uku menenji si pela, skwa zine si kune, si se mtenda zine si kune, si zilile nga gomu ondo si zilile futi kuko gonga. In the scripture, Holy Scripture, it is stated that even one hair falls out of your head. <laughs> that is His will. So remember this. No man ever gets to buga la ngwa sem paluen e pa ipili ni em ngwa tini e ten ngwele es buga giona gya shala pa ya uguti ge no man ever ge unjani. No man abe go corner is sick to own us, so no man abe go away or go to an aguena. Magunjalo, we as a good ticket, who is Talas Gankulunculu is a gunjalo. When will the golden age start? It starts right here, anytime you wish, from today. <laughs> For yourself. We are both again good to get less, cut less, up to again, let's say, golden age, Sitalanini. But I understand, I understand what you mean. There are two kinds of golden age. One kind is individual golden age at any time, at any age. Another kind is that the whole planet consciousness has changed together into a higher 
consciousness level. At that time, the whole planet, or almost the inhabitants of this planet, will enjoy similar uh, consciousness of bliss. And that is when we call the golden age of this planet. Otherwise, for us, every one of us, we can have golden age any time if we reconnect, remember God again. Besege umkati nomage umhlaba lo espila guona osuzungezili. Uba nende la ezningi ezenze ganga. Goto wage leyo into eenze ga emkabangu eni yetu noma emkondwe eni yetu. Goto wage giningi letu leende la le e yona e okal e yona e chwa ilegile. Ugungutige yenze ga noma ngabe inini la uskati ofuna kutibe isoni. How, how does celibacy help realize God? Oh, everything helps realizing God, provided our sincerity and intensity is behind, is the motive behind our purpose, behind our action. Actually, uh, how, what is it? Celibacy? Yes, yes. I mean, up. Abstain, abstinence from uh, sexual activities, yes. It does help in the beginning, provided you can stand it. <laughs> if not, it will be a little waste of time and energy, and you struggle every day just for that. Instead of remembering, remembering God, you remember remembering things that you try to avoid. So it is up to individual the way you choose to walk, is it all right to be celibate or is all right to be married? Yes, it depends on your karma, your destiny, your will, and the path you had, that you have chalked for yourself to walk before your birth, before you have chosen to descend into this world. You have chalked your way of life. So you walk differently. It doesn't mean being a bachelor is more close to God or being a married is further to God. Each one walk his own way. Each one is different because each one is God, individualized. He knows what he's doing, even though now he has chosen to forget so that he can start again, you see. So it's up to you. See how you can deal with your situation. That is how you have chalked your path of life. In the lake, le utige yo utige umuntu ge anga bi no muntu go ashate noma anga i otansi ni no muntu gukala ekale ngoba umbuzu ya buzu utige gukala ni nugu tu muntu azati na gafunu uti az az mani noma abe no muni muntu utige gukala ekale ni futige lo kugu puma gwe na ngapagat. Wena oz kete lai. Agu ushugutige uma ngabe mina. Nketu guti ngibe uweslisa unga shadili. Ugu shuguti mklambe ngea sondela. Noma ngitele neno nkulu nkulu. Noma uma ngabe mina. Nketu guti ngibe umuntu ugu oshadili. Noma ngishadi. Loko ngese gusho guti ge nisondele neno. Noma ngitele neno nkulu nkulu. Ha. Agu njalo. Indo nje ufanele wazu guti ge. Umuntu upila ngale ondela. Afisa ugu guti ge apile ngayo. Uye na ozke tela yu nga sektale, nga sektale. Kotwa ge okfane lo gutige ukeyele lo gutige. Unga zamu gutige utate impilo ugu yono nga ifun. Besege uzaba nga gogonke manlim. Uzamu utmanjege uikweme leyo mpilu lo uikweme. Uma ngabo uwazu gutige awazu gutuzbande. Fane lo gutige wa sektale uzke tele ugu yona yona nlela uifunaye. Unga lube lo uzama gutige ulunyunya ulubo ngala ulunye lube ngala. Why does God take very long to answer one's prayers? No, it doesn't take long. 
is our thinking of separation from Him that takes long. It is the time factor of this physical dimension that it makes seem long. I will explain. I will explain. Umbuzo ge utige gungani unkulunguli atatega de ugupendula imbuzo yet. Pendula ge itika agunja lunkulunkula ratatis katesi to pendula imbuzo yet. Go on ke logo gusem tabang and wait. Itina is tabanga ugut unkulunkulu utata is kat so pendula. Gepa ye na kaneze agatatis katesi to pendula in tandazo yet. In order to experience the physical existence as we do now, we as God before, have, we when we were in heaven, with, one with God, as God, we have created time and space in this planet, in this physical existence, so that we can experience the separation from God, so that we can reunite to God again and enjoy the bliss again. And that's how it goes on for eternity. We have forever create new dimensions, new experiences, so that we can remember God again as God and as the creation of God. So when we are in this dimension, there is time and space. And that's how things take time to manifest, take space to materialize. Inga koge la bega ugutige umanga bese sfuna usizo osulbona yote na ugungolo la mshabin sisugesi sisi ngasa kaba ugutige logo wa sisi zulu ni ngalis kati sisi sisi zulu ni sisi nongulu nongulu ngogom kaba iti na ba ndu kogo esa wazakela ugutige sake iskati esikona sipinde futige sake nomkati noma iskati manjega ugutige umase sila mshabin Sizame ya ugutige si ikrela nise na unkulu unkulu ngoba iti ina pede saza kela li isi ya skati ugutizo kela na unkulu unkulu futige iti ina ese za kela ugutige gube ne skala na ma gube ne kebe giti ina ge na unkulu unkulu Koto wage gonke logu sagwenza uguze ugutige si tige uma sesi tangana na uma sesi buyela unkulu unkulu uma gate sesi tele nenaye gube uklangana ugu inja abulo na ugu nentogozo Sipira e katini eza sluga slugeni ezi ngafan. Koto wage okusa mkoga ugutige. Itina esa za kela lo mkati noma ikebe eliko na paratugu etu na ngulu ngulu. In heaven, everything is together. Even though everything is together in one time, one space, there's no separation ever. For example, I have all the flowers here. So how long does it take for them to be together? No time. They're already together, all the time. But if I take one flower out of this and put it over there, and now this flower, wish this flower to rejoin them, how long it takes? Take maybe one second. You see, this is the dimension that we live in. Everything is separated by time and space. It is because our creative mind have wanted it that way. Now we have forgotten that we created it. We have forgotten. Never mind. You will remember <laughs> if you practice Kuan Yin method, meditation, you will remember everything, who you are, why things happen to you, what you have created, why they come to you, because you have created. That's why I said before, no victim ever. Everything happened to us, we created it for our best purpose, even though we don't see it now because we have forgotten. We have chosen to forget. Gonke ge lo kuge o masikbuga e zului ni aksugen imba lilezi e zila pamguam umanga benzo tata le mbale yoto le ni suganis kung tati skates ngara na nugu tini tata le mbale ni bege kelen bese ge ngai tata futi le mbale ni buisel ngenga tinsai bege kelen imbal lezi zini imbal ziafi sugu tige se ngati le ne inga sondela na noma ibe nas. Kutu wage umase ngitandu uti ngibu isel kumtata angitati nisho no mzuzo oto no ma umzuzo an ugutige ibu ya elele mbali gunja alo gege nala mshabi ni ngoba itina esaka lo mkati lo ugutige izi ndo maze shugani sake neskala no ma ikebe neskati kutu wage ezuluini agunja alo agushugani gonge gelo kuge Be patient at the time of death 
you will see this even you don't practice quaning method you will see that whatever you wish come immediately because it's always there you always with everything everything is always with you at that time, we already transcend time and space. At the time of our transit between, uh, from this world to so-called heavenly world, we have transcended the time and space. This body is the instrument that activates time and space. And that's why things we wish for don't seem to come immediately. For example, in heaven, if you want to go somewhere, you just think and you're there right away, immediately. More, more than the, the speed of light. And that's why all heavenly beings, all the people who, who die, they are careful what they think. They must know. They should not think anything that is not good because anything they think come materialize right in front of them. But here, for example, if I wish for a car, it takes time. The car is somewhere over there, not here. I have to make money first, and then I have to go over there and ask for the price, sign the paper, and drive the car home. See, for example, like that. So if you will sit here and wish for a car, God also cannot <laughs> bring it right away. It takes time. See? So we feel that God doesn't answer our prayer. He always does. It just comes later or now. It depends on situation. that's why in all the religious scriptures it is advised that we should keep our speech uh, our action and our thought pure at all time because whatever we think Whatever we wish for, bad, good, will come sooner or later. Yinga koge umanga beguna usibuga lezi inkolelo lezi ge ezi maela na nomu kristu nova nomu kulunku noma zonke inkolelo. Uyo uchelo ugutige unga itabangi ngogu. Shala ngaso sonke iskati utabanga ngezi nto ezi nte. But because we have this physical body blind us from all the reality blind us from all the truth. So we think whatever we do, whatever we think in darkness, nobody know. <laughs> Everything will come back. Hence, all the commandments of Christian, Buddhist, Hinduism, Islam, Jainism, every religion tells you just to do good things, think good things, because whatever you, you do, whatever you think, come back to us. Because 
uthepin the foot to tighten colo lay a map boot and I is boot. Now is of jail good to get ungens or go. Pin the gay foot to get utter in gormal in colo, no my in colo lay, yama suluman. Now you lay on colis of jail or good to get ungens or go. Zon gales in colo lazy, Zak jail or good to get ungens or go. It's very scary when you know how the law of cause and effect works. Very scary. Go on, get your two side, logo, go, masses of pega, get in by me. If we truly see these things, we will never, we will be more, more, more careful about what we think and what we do. Oman Abis is born and lives in Dolezi, Sizzles and Muti Sikiga, Leg, and Gukogon Cake. Master, you do not speak of hell. What are your comments? I do not speak of hell. Oh, we, I think all of us know about it. Why should I talk about hell? We are buzagi la ugutige gunga ni anga kulumi ngala impilo lea ya sese hokuin tige agazu kuluma ngaya si kisti mo ngoba songe si azuguti gu inu isi inis hoku. Heaven is a rare gift. I would like to offer. Hell we see everywhere already in this planet also. No need to mention, no. Is Hoko Sitalis is born and so goes on, Kelam Shabin, as it is Timo so good to get his Kulumengas, Ganti Logo was a Zuluin, a good joy legi, Lukfanel and Kulumenga, who's a good Taban to Bagwas. Whenever we want to strike our neighbors, <coughs> that's hell. Whenever we inflict suffering on somebody else in different means, that is hell. Or whenever someone else do that to us, is it hell? Whenever we rise any negative thought about somebody else, that is hell too. We create it all the time. If we are careful with our thought. Uma ngabeke ngifisa ukuthi ngakhe ubutha kumakhelwa ne wam logo kuyisihoko. Uma ngabeke ngifuna ukuthi ngizwise umuntu obuhlungu logo kuyisihoko. Futhi uma ngabeke ngenza okubi konke kuyisihoko. This is not a question, but a very wonderful note. <coughs> a person by the name of Helen says, Dearest Master Ching Hai, please give me personally a big hug. I will be so grateful. Who Thank you it? so much for coming to South Africa. Who Love, is that? Helen. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, Helen. Come here. Oh, Helen. We are telling you to get a good idea. I'm going to get a Utu ya bonga uguti azila eningizim Afrika. Uya zelela nje uguti ge umasta amtin tingizandazai. I just hug one person symbol, symbolic for Africa, okay? Not everybody want to come here hug. We don't have time. Umunto yetu age wala eningizim Afrika. Usesmele songe geti. Master, what is your secret to successful meditation? Sincere desire. Uyabuza ke ukuthi ke yini eyenza ukuthi uphumelele uma ujula ngokomqondo. Manje ke ukuthi ke yilokho kufisa kwangempela. There is no secret. When we are ready, we just do it. Just like when you are hungry, you just eat. It's no secret. I call him fish or a gulo cook. No man, fun and no man a bullambil, mulambil, overlul. Nala, oh man, I beg your office of wins a log over Luguens. I dig him fish. That's why all the teachers of old time they never force people to follow them or learn anything because they know it, it is not the things that you should could force people or train them to. It's just the thing that you're hungry when somebody. Block your nose like this. What do you need? Air. So when you're so hungry for God, that's all you want. It's natural phenomena. It's no secret. Yinga koge no tisha lavak dala ge bona ge babenga force bampok mutuguti ezek bon. Why bezizel? 
No man I've been climbing in Jumoy, in Doiting I in Pefumoy, no man I beg you of Nunculunculu, in Doc Fanelu and Zenjeg, Utig Ubenai, no ma umting, then was um told. But uh, there is a helpful, helpful way, such as if you know the way to concentrate, it's also easy for you, and later it becomes like habit. You don't even need to concentrate. You see God all the time, anytime. Even when you're singing, when you're driving, when you think of somebody else, like, oh, my friend, he lost some money or something yesterday, and then God's also there. <laughs> anytime you concentrate on something, God will be there. And now every time we want to concentrate, we just doesn't know how, we couldn't. But at that time, it will be automatic. Gufana no manga bege ufunu gutige ukabanga ngente o etiz. Au dinge gutige uzuz pasaze che no ma wenzi nja and wenzi mlim. Uvele nja ukabanga ngako. No manga bu ya shayela, no manga bu wenzi nja. Unkulu unkulu ushala enawe nga soso ngis kat. Next one. Is there a basic difference between prayer and meditation? Or are they the same? Meditation is the deepest prayers and the truest because we have direct result immediately. During, uh, because when we praise, we talk, we, we demand, please God, do this, do that, give me this, give me that. But when we meditate, we don't demand anything. We let His will be done. And we also have the way to direct contact with Him. So. We are listening instead of talking. Because God knows before we ask that what we want. He's God, isn't He? So we just listen. That's meditation. We just sit there and let Him tell us what to do. And that's how meditation is. Yeah. Is there a specific moment or time when one feels that one has established a connection with God? Is there some kind of spiritual vibration or feeling of aura around one or within one? Yes, when you feel God's presence, you do feel it, you know it. Of course you must know. For example, for example, during initiation, you see the light of God, then you know. And you hear the voice of God, the melodious, heavenly teaching of God, then you know. There's no mistake about this. Just like you're listening to me now, you hear my voice, is there any mistake? You doubt that I'm here or not here? Is that clear? Yeah. Ufiso kwa zika kuti kukona hii nige umethugo la ukono kuzwa yu manga bukumana nungkulungkulu noma isaine tilo ibonai uti yebo ikon kufana noma ngabege usu ya la paya ukala ngale ifundo za kilezige uza izu ilika nungkulungkulu upindege uze no msindo otil kunje ngami njongo ba nungkuluma la ngabe niangabaza hii nunguti kuluma minu we could, uh, we could have this God's presence and God's connection every day. I mean, after initiation, we just know how, and it's more easy. That's all. More easy. You can ask our elder brothers and sisters who has practiced already, then you, they tell you. Not just one moment, every moment. Master, I am already initiated by another master, but I have difficulty with meditation. Do you have any suggestions? When one closes one's eyes and focuses, what is supposed to happen? Oh, man. Oh, God. <laughs> then you're not even there yet. Oh, my God. 
Come back to your master. Get initiated again. Ask him. Stay with him. Meditate with him for a while. Then you improve. O fiso guazi o ugutige o akala no muniu master go tamanje o bona ngatu ya shulera o gutiga julong o gomkond buza ge gutu master ngam siza ngan master ge utige o ngono kufani la go enzo gut abu yele gulu ya master wa ke o akala o gu ye no zom siza futige a jule gani gani na e ngomkond. Maybe there's a mistake because you say you're initiated already and you still don't know what happened during meditation. You should see the light of God and hear the music of heaven. That's what happens. You should see Jesus or Buddha, Muhammad, the old masters of any kind. You might see your own master inside teaching you further instructions about better way of life, better way to heaven. These things will happen during meditation. And if you still don't know that, that means you're not initiated, or maybe it's a different kind of meditation that it did not work well with you. Maybe you should find another way. Yeah. Mshamba gwa ba koni puta elenzega gwe na ngoba ge umanga bege usukali siwela ugutula ngomkon ufanele gutige ubone ugukanya uze nomtule wa sezuluin kuto umanga butwe na waka guza gonge lo a usengine ufanele uguza gonge. This is just an example of what happened. There are thousand million things more, okay? Just example. Master, how important is reading holy books? It's only as important as it inspired you to know more about the real experience that the book is written about. And after that, you have to know the real experience, not reading it. For example, just you read the menu, or you read the letter of a friend, yesterday I eat this and that, it was wonderful. But that is as far as important as that it inspired you to go to that restaurant to eat the same thing. <laughs> But if you do not go there and eat, then the letter is just a letter. The menu is just a menu. Umbozo ge uti balera njani ge uti ge ufunde izimwa ati izimwa eli pendo le uti ge kufanya le uti ube no kozi no mage nengi segel kufanya no manga ba ulambi lo funu uti ge ufunde imenyo restaurant kufanya lo ube na kozi lo uti ufunde no manga ba yini to ufunu uti ube no kozi loani. How can a believer in God prove to a non-believer that there is a God, a supreme being, the ultimate truth? I can prove it. Just stay behind, I prove it to you. I cannot show him here because God, uh, uh, in a different aspect, is abstract, but I can prove it to you. Yeah, I can show you inside. He will appear. Umbozo gutige umeshugo parati go mundu okolo ayo nonga kola gungulu gungulu unja noma imobi futige unga tunsegi sa gelogo yebo utumasta unga tunsegi sa uzo kumbi sa umange unga sala imvagwa loko uzo kumbi sa. There are two ways to prove God's existence. The easiest way is this. And look at yourself. Who made you? You think you fall out from thin air? If you have a baby, there is a mother and a father, right? So there's so many things in this universe. Doesn't that prove enough to you that there is a creator somewhere? All right, maybe he's hidden. But I can show him to you also, the hidden one. But the materialized one is us. When God manifests in the material ways, this is us. This is God who sits here. This is God who made this happen. All right? But God as a power, as an invisible, love, pervasive blessing, that we have to go inside in the invisible, passive way in order to see. And if we want to see material God here everywhere, behind you, beside you. <laughs> All right? <laughs>
Gulula ke ukubona lo kunendlela ezimbili lokuqala yilo ke sikubona yokuzizungezile njengale imbali beka David noma ngabe thina ngesithina sikusethu ucabanga ukuthi wena waqhama kabi uma ngabe kube khona kufanele kube nengane zoba khona umama nobaba kufanele bahlangane ingane ukuzizala kodwa ke bese kubakhona ke lokho kufihlakela yilo ke ukengakwazi ukuthi ngikhombisa kona kodwa ke kulula ke ukuthi ke uthole lokho okwezinto esizibonayo okusizungezile Dear Master Ching Hai, thank you for coming to South Africa. It was God's will. I hope your message will stop the crime in our country. I hope to have the honor of shaking your hand. Mr. Mbarov. Who is that? We are born again, Ugutige, O Master Ezela, in Africa. Ufisa ngazuti angage amka ule umasta. Ufisa ya buza age umasta kutige. Ubani ige lo ufisa kutamka ule. It is reported to me this afternoon that uh, the violence toward women has decreased almost to nothing during this week. Thank you very much. Ufisa well. <laughs> kufigi <laughs> lege. Gufile gufigile again the Benziga Master Ogutige Ugusugunez or Gobis Fazane Gwesli the Sekisha Gube Yeze Mabelo Gulikuniso. That's the first question. Second question, I shake hands with people all the time. It's just that not always practical because <laughs> too many people. Always believe or good again if I'm a good thing but how will I ban go to good Havan Basuba and Ninga cool. Uh, like yesterday, I, we were in Johannesburg. I went around, shake everybody's hand as far as I can before the lecture. But today, you made such a beautiful, impressive dance. I was mesmerized. I forgot my job. It's all this is a cold. This is taller than this town. Taller than Tabanin. Namusha gang zamile uti gang batole gabane ngoto age o sentante nga cool ilo obone umtanso gube umtanso oye wang tata ga coolula. Thank you anyhow for your love. Niabonga utando lwen. If all is under His will, why seek initiation and liberation? Because this is also His will. <laughs> Mbuzoge utige, umang abe gonke gwenze gang in tando yak, kunga no funugu to kali se gule sis fundo, nano gutiga utolo kukuzeleg, manje in pendulo iti gung oba no magunge na in tando yak. I do not say all of you have to do it. I'm here just for the one who are ready. And the one who are ready, that means his will has ordained them to do that. All right? I go no gutig and jungo by nila ni shuguti no onke fanelo gutin is onke na gule sis tal. Should a person or can a person have more than one master? Uh, of course, you can have as many masters as you want, but what for? Umbuzo <laughs> utige. One physical master is enough to take you into the higher dimension. Then you study with many masters there too. Jesus, Buddha, whomever you like. Or the, or the physical master who is also inside. Most uh, masters teach the same thing. Even, for example, for example, if a master teach a quantum method and another teach also a quantum method, both masters teach you the same thing. So there is no need to uh, go from one master to another. Devotion to one master is very, very helpful to your spiritual practice. Manje ge ba ningi ge o master la ba abakona futi ge ba fundi sangu indlela ezinga fan gotoa ge intlo soya bo iya fan 
mangabuzo suga gulo uye na gulo agu sego tu agu manu guti ge usale go yeto umasta uguzege utole ugutu kulege nga parad. After all, the master wants to show you that you are the master. That's the purpose of having a master in the first place, not to seek many masters like a collection. How can I keep my spiritual contact with God unbreakable? After initiation, it never breaks. How can you help us to become vegetarian? No, 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 I cannot help you. I cannot eat one or two meals a day. I cannot eat more for you. Sorry. Master, who is God? Why did God create the universe with all that it contains? Who is God? <laughs> you go inside, ask him. Why? I have explained already in the beginning that we, we ourselves were God and one with God and we have chosen or God in us or God has chosen that we separated in different individualities in order so that we can have multiple experiences of God and colorfully enjoy the creation. You see? If we just stay one together with God all the time as, okay, as a lump like this, there's nothing happening. You see, that's why the creation begins, so that we can enjoy. Suppose it's only me here, <laughs> and you are not present. What do I do here? No interaction, no, no experience, no love flowing between each other. We cannot know what God's love is if we are God. We have to be separate for from God in order to enjoy the God that we are or the God that is. That's That's the purpose. Purpose. Why is it so difficult to get rid of negative thoughts and feelings? Yeah, it's habit. Next time, whenever you think negative thought, you replace immediately with the, con con with the contrary thought. Anytime you remember, do that until it becomes a habit again. Everything is just a habit. Everything is just a habit. It will be easy. Once you try again, again, and again. We are and Does God hear me when I pray? And how do I know if God has heard me? Lastly, have you seen God? If you have, how does it feel? Hmm. Yes. Why don't you join the initiation and then you know how does it feel? How can I explain to you when I'm in love with somebody else the love I feel or the love he has for me? You see, you have to have your own experience of God. Because if God can be described in human language, we don't need to seek Him. If God can be told by another person, then we don't need to know Him. 
because this experience of God is one of the most wonderful things that would happen in your life. So only you will know it. The more we talk about God, the more I feel I am very frustrated. Of course I see God. That's why I can show you. So that you yourself can also see. Why does ethnic diversity exist in this dimension? Why do we have so many flowers? Different kind. That's why. God is very artistic, very multi-talented, very beautiful, very colorful. So he created us like that. Just like many flowers to please us, different varieties for a colorful life. You see anything wrong with that? Should it be only one color? Should God create only one? Boring, yellow, like me? Hmm? Should everybody look exactly like me? You think it would be interesting? Yes or no? no. no. Yeah, now you answer yourself. <laughs> to be in contact with God. Could this happen instantly by practice? Instantly at the time of initiation and any time at home later. I'll show you how to concentrate, how to calm your mind, and then you see God. So you can do that at home. Can one eventually possess the power to materialize and create things? Yes, you can. And you create things all the time. You create things all the time. Anytime you think of something, you create something. And that thing will come to you sooner or later. That's why uh, we should be careful with what we think. Because if we think good things, it will come to us also. If we think about bad things, it will come to us also. Suppose we think about many good things that we want to possess, and then we die at that instant. And then all the things that we have created and desire have not come to our fulfillment. So we have to reborn again to enjoy them. And that's why all the, the master advise us that we should not uh, concentrate on material possession, but put our, our property in heaven. Yeah, that means we should concentrate in God's kingdom and do not mind too much about material possession. That's that's why we should not bother to learn magical powers and materialize things because we already 
have creative power all the time in our life. If, if for example, if, for example, you die now in this instant, then you will understand exactly what I say. Because when you leave this limited prison, you'll be free and your spirit will be everywhere at the same time or many places at the same time. And anything, anything, anything absolutely that you want will come to you right away. Just because when we have this physical body, we could not see that. That's why we are careless about what we think, what we want. We are not uh, very in control of our mind. If we know everything we think will come to us, we will be very careful about what we think. Is your entire life determined by God, or are you master of your own destiny? Everything is determined by God. All right. Umbuzo uti ge impile ako ila ula ngulungulu na mpendulo iti yebo nize ni umasta yonkinto ila ula ngulungulu. But yet again, you are God, so you are the master of your destiny also. Koto age futi, ngulungulu uwen, manje ugushuguti ge uwen na ula ula yu. All right. Thank you very much for your love and your attention.